Welcome to Logic 10.7.5, the 39th free update since the release of Logic Pro 10 in 2013. Now, first thing we're going to look at in this video on this new update is the new game tool. So when you look under the top here, you're going to see that we have a game tool at the bottom and we can get to this if you type in game here via key command set game tool. It's unassigned by default, but you can easily freely assign it. Now I'm going to assign the game tool here. And as soon as you hover your mouse over a region, I'm going to hold down my command key to get to it. You'll see that we get this display and I can simply drag up or down and the waveform underneath scales in response. And then I can option click to just snap it back to the default. And this mirrors the gain setting that we have here. So if I do a gain adjustment here, you'll see this one getting adjusted. It's sort of the same thing. I say sort of because there's a really interesting and useful workflow that we can get to with this tool. I'm just going to option click to snap it back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the game tool to my main primary tool, and I'm going to assign the marquee tool to my alternate command key tool. So now I can just hover this over wherever I want. And if I want to adjust levels, for example, in this group vocals, here's what it sounds like. So I decide I want that little bit. I'm holding down command, make a marquee selection, and then boom, I can lower that part right there and separates and makes the selection all at once. So command key for marquee, select, let go, and now bring that down. I really like this workflow like that. Let go. Maybe I'm going to bring that one up. So really easy to get into this kind of micro editing. And if I zoom in, of course, I can make much smaller selections like that. Maybe I want to bring those words up. And then maybe I want to bring those down a little bit. And then maybe just double click there to separate it. These ones down even more. So really great. Command key for marquee. Make your selection, release, then it's the game tool, and boom, it separates, and you can adjust just like that. So really nice workflow for the new game tool as an alternative to moving your mouse over here and making cuts manually and then statically editing the game. Here you can kind of get it all into one smooth workflow, and if you don't like using or dedicating one of your tools to it, you can always assign a key command to it there. More new Logic 10.7.5 features coming up in the next video.